Hi guys, it's Alicia with Pretty Much Me, and today I'm going to show you how to make these faux fur pom-poms. Hey guys, so today we're going to work on faux fur pom-poms. These are something that um, I love to finish off my knit hats with. Here's an example of one that I made. Uh, people seem to really like these right now, and I make them uh, with a rubber band or a hair band uh, attached so that you can just put it in your hat. Um, run it through, run it through the top of the hat, and then um, take the pom pom on and off as, as you wish. So in order to make this, you're going to need a piece of fake fur. My fur is white with gray tips. Um, I like to make mine with. I use a bowl. I use a cereal bowl as my um, stencil to make sure that I get a perfect circle um, when I'm cutting. Uh, my pom-pom, I have a marker here. I have some fiber fill to stuff it with. The rubber band that I showed you before. I use a thimble to protect my finger. I have a sewing needle. It's a thick sewing needle with a sharp tip. And then um, instead of thread, I use monofilament that's typically used for jewelry making just to be a little stronger than the thread. And then I have a pair of scissors as well. So the first step is to trace your circle on your fur so you don't do it on the first side you do it on the fabric the backing side of it uh, you can make your pom-pom any size you want this method will work for whatever size you choose um, one of the best tips that I got making these was to be very careful when cutting the fabric you don't want to cut it through the fur you don't want to damage and lose the length you want to make sure you're trimming the back the fabric portion with really small snips so that you don't lose any of that length of the fur which is the whole point of what we're making so go around make sure you're not cutting that fur that you're just cutting the fabric on the side so short little snips As you go around, I find that uh, the longer fur lends itself to larger pom-poms. You can make these in any size you like. As I said before, um, people like having a way to attach them. I've noticed that sometimes they're sold with threads or strings on them. I like to do the hair band, the rubber bands on them. I think it's really convenient. You can take it off the hat if you don't want to have it on there anymore um, or put it on a different hat. So we're going to get rid of that scrap. We have our, our pom-pom cut out. The next step is to take a piece of the monofilament here. I want it to be maybe an arm's length longer than you would think. You want to be able to pull on it and I like to do a double length as well so I'm gonna run it through here and it's gonna be a double length of thread I've tried doing this with regular thread and it just doesn't seem quite strong enough and we really want to be able to make sure that if it gets tugged on or kids pull on it that it stays strong enough I'm gonna cut the end about a quarter quarter of an inch left right here with a knot I'm going to put my um, thimble on to protect my ring finger. You do use some force as you're threading through your pom-pom. So for this next step, I'm just going to do a running stitch all the way around the edge of the pom-pom. And for that, just in and out, all around the side. And then as you work your way around, every once in a while, just pull it, pull it through. Make sure your knot's catching here and then we're going to work further around until you've worked all the way so you've created a space um, that you're going to stuff with a fiber fill when i first was admiring these i didn't realize that you needed to stuff them to make sure that they looked fuller if you left this empty it wouldn't have the same effect of a nice full pom-pom so all the way around. Careful not to stab yourself. 
these do make a mess. The fur goes everywhere as you're working. My dogs don't know quite what to make of these. They're not sure if they're stuffed animals for them to play with. They think they need to get involved with it, but it works better when they're not interested in what I'm doing, that's for sure. I think one of my dogs thinks it's part of her tail that I'm using. All right, so then when it's like this, you can see, you can gather up the whole thing here, and then um, I'm gonna actually stuff it with a fiber fill. So what I like to do is hold it here, and I'm stuff with the other hand. You're kind of using the other hand and the needle to, to draw it closed a bit. And then you stuff it until you th it's as firm as you would like it to be. I'm getting it all over the place. Again, it, it does make this process is a little, little messy, but it's worth it in the end. Uh, there's a lot of great places to find fake fur. I've had a lot of good luck um, online. I found a few pieces that I liked in my local fabric store, but not a lot of selection, not a lot of different colors. So Etsy and Amazon um, have some nice fake fur options if you're looking for something in particular. I really like this one with the gray and the white, um, but there's also some fun color ones available. All right, and so once it's stuffed to your specifications, I like to take it and pull it very, very tight, and then I'm going to grab it. This is the area that we just cinched up with our with our thread and needle, and I'm going to just come through, just to secure this into place, I'm going to come through the entire pom-pom like that, pull it up tight, and then what I like to do is stick the rubber band or the hair tie right in the middle there, and then I'm going to sew the um, pom-pom clothes right around that, and just back and forth until all the little gaps are closed up. You want, to, you want to make sure it's nice and tight, nice and secure. It stays closed. Be awful if it came off of someone's hat and fell apart. Uh, a little bit of the stuffing's coming out on me there. Maybe I overstuffed. I was a little overzealous. And um, some of the fur is getting caught in my stitches, but I'll show you when I'm finishing it up how what I do to uh, stop that. Usually I get... Um, ponytail holders without the metal piece in it. I accidentally bought the kind with the metal piece, so I'm putting that metal piece into the pom-pom so it doesn't show and it doesn't tear or tug on the hat when it gets attached to that. And there's different thicknesses of uh, hair ties you could use. So this is pretty secure. It's all closed up here. So now I'm gonna finish it off. I'm just gonna make a knot here. I'm gonna run it through the fabric and then I'm going to run it through the thread, and then I'm going to knot it off. I'm going to do that again, and then I'm going to show you one more knot I do to secure it. Just, you really want to make sure it's not going to come loose on you. It's tricky to see this <laughs> filament sometimes. There, so nice and tight. And then I'm going to take it. And since it's double thickness, I'm going to cut right here. Since it's double thickness, I'm actually going to tie a couple more square knots if I can get it here. Just two more square knots to make sure that it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay um, nice and secure. Here, oh, maybe. Here we go. One. And while this is a much stronger option than thread, it's much less comfortable if it touches your head and it goes through your knit hat. So what I like to do is make sure after I've knotted it that I cut it really close to the pom-pom. And now this bottom part where we've attached it is a little messy. So I just kind of pull, pull the fur out that got caught, go all around, fluff it back up, and then I shake, shake it. And it's a beautiful, beautiful little pom-pom here and I hope you have fun making these on your own. Enjoy. Um, just put it through the top of your hat here and attach it with a quick little 
Oops, quick little knot and attach it on a hat or um, people are putting them on their purse or keychains. Some people are actually just using them as ponytail holders. So that's certainly an option as well. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, pretty much me, YouTube, and um, on Facebook. Have a great day, everyone.